Con is wonderful to see you today. Uh, thanks for walking down in the new location. It should be good. Remember that. It's 188 right down the street next to the uh, Salvation Army. All right, so for today, let's make sure we're in tune. E, A, D, G, B, E. tune myself. Uh, when we're doing this, make sure we hear it this way. When we do our spider exercises, the next note, the fifth fret, that note right here on the E string will be the next note open. The next note here on the A string is a D, so that'll be the next string open. Um, let's see here. The next string doo -doo -doo -doo, goes to the fourth fret, so the fifth fret going to be the G. And now here's where the caveat is. One, two, three, four on the G string is going to be where your B is. And then five on your B string is going to be your E. And that should make us in tune. All right, so for this week, there's three things. They're all old, but they're new. We're gonna re-explain another chord that we were using, and then we're gonna use it with all of our songs that we've been playing in examples. At the end of this video, I'm gonna put the Ophelia song. Just jam along with it, see if you can form those chords with me, all right? So, first thing I wanna do is re-emphasize Do, Re, Mi, Fa, one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four. You don't have to go this fast, but I would say if you were to go, go this fast, the right hand should be doing down, up, 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 down, up. So try and get these fluid. These are spiders that you know and you love. <clears throat> Keep these going. They're going to make your fingers a lot stronger. What I'd also like you to do this week is take five or ten minutes and do just this. E major. F major, E major, E major, F major. When you go for your F major, we want to make sure that every note comes out crystal clear. You can start this by playing just the first fret, and if any of these notes are flat, that means you need to press down just a little harder. What that means is you're gonna find a perfect space for your fingers to fit in here by moving your finger up and down until you can press all these strings down and they all come through. Then you layer your E major chord on top of that. Thusly, real strong, secure barring mechanism and then your E major chord makes an F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, so on and so forth. If you like, you could try that as well with the A minor the A minor, and then the B flat minor. Same barring structure, make sure they're all pressed down real hard. If you could do that for five minutes on each one of those. But at, at you know, two thirds the speed. That's going to teach yourself how to play first position, second position, and then the bar chord with that. You could also do A major, A major, B flat major. You could do D major, D major, E flat major. So what we're going to do is just see those chords. Play those, try and get a little bit stronger with your bar chords. You're doing a great job. Remember, practice makes perfect. Uh, the other concept we went through is we already know how to play the C, open D, second fret for the E, half step for the F, open string for the A, second string for the A, open for the B, and then first fret for the C. <clears throat> so what we're essentially doing is we're playing C, D, minor, E, minor, F, major, G, major, A, minor, B, diminished, So what I 
I'd like you to do is next week be able to come back and play all of your seven majors, I'm sorry, all of your seven chords in a C major chord, which is C major, D major, um, D minor, E minor, F major, G major, And then our A minor. B diminished. Uh. And then <clears throat> C major again. So what we're gonna be looking at is Do, Re, Mi, Fa, So, La, Ti, Do. And associating the chords with it. C major. D minor. So go with your lesson two exercise. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and C major to a D minor on just the one. <clears throat> Go back and forth between these two until they're very easy to play together. And you can switch between the C major to the D. As soon as you get this, move on from the D minor to the E minor. And go back and forth between these two. D minor, E minor, two, three, four, D minor. Now after you get good with those, go from, from the E minor to the F major. F major, back to an E minor, to an F major. As soon as you get these and these are solid and your F is nice and clear, go from an F major to a G major. Now back to the F major. To a G major bar chord, maybe? To back to an F major bar chord. Now maybe to a G major second fingering position. As soon as you're comfortable with all these different places, move on to the G to the A minor. Now back to the G major. Either with the fifth or without. Two, three. As soon as you get done with the A minor, here's our new chord. You're gonna be playing a B diminished. So we're gonna make what looks like a D major. So D major here, we hop over and then hop over. So our first finger starts on the B note, giving us a B diminished. Meaning if you scoot this up, our first finger making this chord shape is on the C note, which is a C diminished, C sharp diminished, D diminished, E flat diminished, E diminished. So I'll teach you where these come along with and why they're used, but as long as you know how to play that, you now have your B diminished. Which resolves to C. D minor, E minor, F major, G major, A minor, B diminished, C. Work on those this week and you'll find that your finger is going to be flowing for all these songs we're going to be playing. <clears throat> Another great way to practice finger um, memory and muscle utilization is to play our La Bamba tune. What I was suggesting is if this was the video and you wanted to play with me, I'm going to play eight measures of a little bit slower. So you can do which fits underneath that as the melody. So here's where I'm gonna play this. Try and play it along after we go over the melody. The melody is going to be the C note with your third finger, the B note with your second finger, and then the open D, open D, keep your hands present though. Then third finger, third fret for the C note, second finger, second fret for the E note, and then G as my open fifth. So we've got one, three, five, one, three, five, C, sorry, G, B, C, E, G. The next note we're gonna hit is gonna be on the fourth fret with our pinky. It's gonna be the F sharp to an open D. We could also do F sharp here and then back it up to here, but that makes our fingers go the wrong way. So, F sharp, fourth fret, pinky to an open D. And then the rhythm feels this. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. A. B, C, C, B, A, G. It's gonna feel like this. A, B, C, C, B, A, G. 
So just practice that over and over again. Again, you'll find that putting the two together it'll fit together like uh, white on rice so what we have is this C B D C E G F sharp D A B C C B A G that last should have a full C chord Bass, A, G. You like that sus? Sus four of the top. Yeah. All right. Here's what it feels like together. I'm gonna play the rhythm for you after one melody. Tag along with. I did it wrong. My bad. fun with that this week. See if you can get your fingers around there and jam along with the melody line over the top of that. Our other song, just so we can go over our chords, is Ophelia by the band. We're going to be making a C major as our one. We're doing a quick key change to the key of E major. We're going to take off our third finger here and then put down our pinky for the E7. We're going to go to an A minor. We're gonna to go to a D major, then a D7. That D7 is acting as a passing tone, lending tone, leading tone. It's moving the whole chord structure to go to a F major, 
G major. Now here's what we call a turnaround. The turnaround is gonna have two different parts in it. I'm gonna show you the beginning part of it right now. Oh, you can come in. I'm gonna show you the beginning part of it right now, and then next week we're gonna go over the top of it. It's gonna go from a C major to a G major to an A minor to a D7. It's just a turnaround, it feels like this. Then right back to the lead. Anywho, it was wonderful seeing you this week. I'll see you next week. Aloha.